I saw a video from a mother the other day who recently had a baby and she is struggling with kidney stones. So it inspired me to come on and in five minutes, I'm gonna to describe to you the conflicts that lead to kidney stones. And so there are two different types of kidney stones, either calcium oxalate stones or uric acid stones. The uric acid stones are like greenish yellowish and they come from the renal pelvis. And so the renal pelvis is the area of the kidney after the urine moves through the kidney collecting tubules, which we'll get to, but it goes into the renal pelvis, then the ureter to the bladder and then urethra. So this is considered the upper urinary tract. And the conflict is a territory marking conflict. And this is having your boundaries invaded, um, feeling like someone is stepping on your toes, coming into your space, either your inner boundaries, like your physical body bond boundaries, or you consider your territory, your partner, perhaps your children. So there's many different experiences that can cause the isolating, highly acute dramatic situation where you're caught off guard and you're like, <gasps> I need to mark my territory. Maybe it's a bossy mother-in-law or someone at your work that is really just getting up in your business. And so the biological program is to widen. So when this conflict is active, the renal pelvis widens, the tissue erodes, the squamous epithelial lining of the renal pelvis will erode, widen, so we have more space in order to have more urine so that we can better mark the territory. This is very biologically relevant because if you are able to mark your territory and spread your scent better than the next girl, you're gonna win the territory. And so that's how this biological program works. But if you're running it chronically, so this is like a hanging healing where you're wanting to mark your territory and then you resolve the conflict, you, you chill out about it. But then there's a track around it. And every time you go to work, or every time your mother-in-law calls or whatever the track happens to be, we're on off, on off. So we're eroding and then rebuilding, eroding, rebuilding, eroding, rebuilding. And when we do that again and again and again, the minerals and salts in that area can accumulate and form stones, right? Because we're not having this full flow of the urine through the system, it's getting, you know, again, widened. And then during the repair phase, there's swelling, there's inflammation, and there's less flow. And so when there's less flow, stuff accumulates. And that's what forms a uric acid kidney stone. So that's one type. Now, the other type comes from the kidney collecting tubules, which is higher up in the kidney. And this is where the, um, the biological program is all about retaining water. And so this is a more ancient biological program than the territory marking. This comes from the brain stem and the kidney collecting tubules are all about, again, preserving our water. And if you had a conflict where you felt isolated, abandoned, like a refugee or an existence conflict where you are scared for your life. So this is, I'm kicked out, I'm left out, I'm all alone. The biological correlation is being a fish washed up on shore with no water, no access to your life supply. And so we proliferate, we close off the kidney collecting tubules, which holds on to fluid. And so that fluid gets accumulated in the body. It stores in fat tissue. It will also go to any site where you happen to be in a healing phase. This is called the syndrome. And so if there's ever excessive swelling, if you have puffiness in your face or bags under your eyes or swelling in your ankles, fluid accumulating somewhere, uh, your rings don't quite fit. We have a kidney collecting tubule conflict. You know, this is huge for people who are dealing with lifestyle resistant uh, weight gain. So it's like you're exercising, you're eating well, you are you know, doing all the things, but you're, you've got a lot of weight on you. We have to address the kidney collecting tubules and the water retention biological program. Once again, if we run it again and again and again, the calcium oxalate stones, which are kind of white or brownish, they start to accumulate. And that's where this other type of kidney stone comes from. And so um, next week on August 22nd, Steve and I are doing a Resolve Refresh workshop where we will be unpacking and talking about isolation, abandonment, kidney collecting tubule conflicts and share our perspective, our experience with this biological program and also open it up for group coaching. So you're welcome to join us for that. The link is in my bio.